What does it take to tackle the climate crisis? Over the next 10 years, developed economies like the UK need to radically reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. Sound impossible? Such ambitions have been achieved before. In 1961, the US President John F. Kennedy committed to the US to what some said was an impossible goal, to land a man on the moon before the decade was out. In doing so, President Kennedy mobilised the energy, skills and resources of the American nation and he made the seemingly impossible possible. Rapidly decarbonising a whole economy will require far more resources and innovation and entail an unprecedented redirection of the economy. But the moon landing showed that such goals can be achieved. It also showed something else, that the state has a role in steering the economy to where we want it to go, rather than just accepting where it's heading. That's why IPPR is calling for an expanded, mission-based green industrial strategy as part of a Green New Deal for the UK. The government has an industrial strategy, but it needs to be far more ambitious and commit to reaching net zero faster than 2050. And then the full array of policies at the government's disposal should be deployed to meet this and concrete missions which sit underneath it. These missions might include for all new cars and vans to be effectively zero emission in the UK by 2030, to double the resource productivity of industry by reducing the use of materials and eliminating waste, to restore the UK's biodiversity to levels last seen over 50 years ago. To really tackle the climate crisis, we need a decade of all-out mobilisation by government, business, civil society, the trade unions and, crucially, the public. A big and ambitious industrial strategy as part of a Green New Deal can help us deliver it.